Let's take a look at the tail of the tape. The Angela Lee hype train is also the taller athlete, the younger athlete, Jenny Huang, plenty to write home about too. We're gonna give the grappling advantage to Unstoppable, but Unpredictable is right there and pretty close in the grappling department, Chris. Two incredible representatives of the sport, but tonight, the belt on the line here in Bangkok, Thailand for the Adam Weight World title, round one. Unpredictable versus Unstoppable. Both undefeated. Somebody's O has got to go. Huang in the blue corner with the blue tape and predominantly in white. Lee in the red corner with the red tape, predominantly wearing black. Nice head movement shown by Angela. She's confidently moving forward. Jenny's having a hard time getting a read on her. Jenny showing lots of movement with the hands but certainly sensing that reach disadvantage, Mitch. Kind of erratic in her head movement and her hand movement. She gets into the clinch now. Angela delivers a knee on the exit. And certainly some hesitancy between these two submission experts, Mitch, to go to the ground at this point, but a feeling out process nonetheless. Typically when you see two high-level grapplers, the contest is you know, uh, decided usually on the feet. I'd like to see him get to the ground to showcase some of that world-class level grappling, but I am okay to sit here and watch Angela connect on some beautiful hands. Still right hand lands for Lee again, looking for the one-two combination. Huang backs off. Huang at the edge of space here. Jenny looking to try and pull the counter here, but those long straight punches of Lee finding their mark. Angela Lee is really putting together some nice boxing combinations. She seems to have Jenny Huang a bit rattled. She's unable to get at the distance thing, and she keeps circling into her power and connecting with that right hand. Beautiful knees there from both women, but it's the longer, sharper strikes as Lee continues to press forward. Angela Lee has definitely been polishing up her striking out there at Evolve, working with the Muay Thai World Champions that we've seen here tonight. Good combinations on the exit. Like, like the short, dirty boxing, controlling the head. But Jenny, there is no quitting Jenny Huang whatsoever, consistently pushing forward. But as soon as she starts to move, Angela is right there cutting off the angles and keeping her trapped up and cutting off the cage there. And Lee also happy to push her away from the clinch. You could see for a moment, Jenny was considering that collar tie. That would be the judo background. But the control of distance from Lee has been sensational. I liked how she's using the feet. She's push kicking the legs there, hyper extending the knee. Really putting together the hands and the feet quite well. A very methodical, tactile, and strategic performance from the champ to open up proceedings over the midway point of the first round here, live from Thailand for the Adam Weight World Title. I like that rear push kick Angela's throwing to the legs of Jane Wong. And she's just mixing up her combinations well with the hands there. It was nice. Shots there from Jenny Huang. Huang again being pressed. Lee with a big left hook. Huang eats a right hand. Two, three again to a right knee as Angela Lee presses onwards. But what a chin from Jenny Huang. Jenny Huang is rattled right now. She is in uncharted territory. Never been pushed like this before in a fight. Angela is unloading the combinations with the hands and the legs. And it's been one-way traffic so far. But Juan has never been stopped in professional competition in MMA. And she's showing right now every bit of that heart that we know she has. We are seeing a completely new dimension to Angela Lee's game. The way she's putting together these combinations is unstoppable, no pun intended. Standing very tall and utilizing the reach, and again, finishing beautifully to the midsection. Angela goes to the legs again, mixing things up. Is the champion, the challenger, though, still in it to win it. Angela's got it, I'm sorry, Jenny's got to change the dick where this match is taking place. She's got to get into the clinch, utilize some of that judo, possibly take this to the fight to the ground, because Angela is lighting her up. Huge combinations from the champ. Jenny looks to dip her head and again get to the clinch. Nice uppercut on the exit there from Juan. 
Yeah, that dirty boxing where she's gonna see a lot of success in her past fights. She's able to control the head punch from there as well. But Angela is just cutting off all angles for Huang, really putting her in a lot of damn bad positions. Another left hook from Lee. That left hook, the way she finishes her combinations with that off the jab. But Wong is swinging for the fences here, Mitch. Yeah, she's swinging wildly. Her elbows are flared out. She's just letting it go. But Angela is just picking her apart as we're approaching the final 10 seconds of this very entertaining world championship fight. And again, Lee in the tie-up, trying to frame with her right hand as we have one round in the books here for the championship bout. Five rounds potentially, Mitch. Let's take a look at some of the striking superiority shown by Angela Lee. She was able to dominate and control every single exchange, cutting off angles and really just unloading with the hands and kick combinations. Beautifully done. There's the right hand that hurt her. Jenny Huang able to regroup, showed she has a good chin, but Angela just didn't let up. Rich Franklin, what do you got? Well, I'll tell you, those replays are pretty much the story that you're seeing here. Angela Lee's doing a good job with her combinations, and you're right, Mitch, you can tell that with her training, she's done a lot of work to be able to tighten things up. Jenny just doesn't have an answer for her at this point in time. And what you're seeing is a lot of that dirty boxing on the inside when Jenny goes to grab clinch looking for a possible takedown or something. You're seeing the knees come from Angela, that dirty boxing hooks to the head. So not only is she scored in the striking superiority, which you saw on the screen, but I also have her starting to mount some damage points as well. The next round of our Adam Weight world title matchup between Angela, unstoppable Lee in the red corner. The champ versus the challenger here in the blue corner, Jenny, unpredictable Huang. Spin and a miss there from Huang. Lee again with that forward pressure, Mitch, trying to push her up the edge of space. Yeah, she's really just cutting off the angles well, controlling the distance and the space of this fight quite well. Jenny's gotta, gotta change things up somehow and start to move forward and really just maybe connect with that big right hand, setting up with a jab. She's throwing that big uppercut as well, but she's connecting on some of her punches now. Big post kick from Angela. Excellent stuff there from Lee, and again into the clinch, and in the one side plum as the knees come in from the champion, Angela Lee. Huang trying to counter here. Huang looking a little bit tired, Mitch. Yeah, she's definitely getting, you know, some of the gas taken out of her from those knees, and that's just gonna, you know, deplete your energy a little bit when you start eating those body shots. But the way that Angela is consistently pushing forward and not giving Jenny a chance to settle into her own game plan has really been the story of this fight. Look at how improved Angela Lee is looking on her feet. Spectacular combinations here. As Lee continues to weave together punches followed by kicks and knees very dutch style combinations mitch beautiful muay thai style combination she's moving well uh, maybe that dutch kickboxing that you alluded to there chris but the way she's cutting angles putting together her hand combinations and coming over the top with that right hand is just a sight to behold and again angela always mindful of that rear push kick and then switching up off that to the inside leg Beautifully done, went low to the legs, came right back with a right straight, mixing up her combination so well. This is a definitely a new and improved unstoppable. Can you imagine, I mean, she's so dangerous on the ground and now she's adding into this, this tactile stand-up game that is just mesmerizing. Take a look at that short elbow just landed by the champ out of the clinch. Nice Jenny Wong body. being slowly overwhelmed here. But there's no quitting Jenny Huang. She's continually looking forward. That is one thing Jenny Huang has. She has this just conviction and belief in herself that this is her moment. This is her shot. Looks like a possible low blow there. And we'll pull in Mr. Rich Franklin as the fighters are sent to their neutral corners. Rich, talk us through it. Foul fraction here, obviously kick to the groin this is incidental so uh, at this point in time olivier has called time to, to the bout the fighter has five minutes the duration of a round to actually recover from the foul here uh, typically when something like this is incidental there will not be any kind of yellow card awarded 
You see here that Ginny Lee looks like she's ready to continue here in a moment, and they're about to get going. And you can take a look at the rules here. Again, up to five minutes, but things back underway here in this championship bout. Wong again pressing forward with that big overhand right, that bull punch, Mitch. She's throwing everything into it. Yeah, I like the change in levels that she tried right there, but Angela wasn't having any of it, knew exactly what was coming, deflected the punches and answering back with shots of her own. I like how she's disrupting the stance of Jenny Huang with these low kicks. They're not just your typical, you know, Thai-style roundhouse kick to the leg. She's using push kicks, trips, and sweeps to that leg to disrupt the stance and the balance of Jenny Huang. As well as that oblique kick, Mitch, that looked really good a couple of times. But it's back to the boxing here for Lee. And she sets up multiple punch combinations. That's what I like. It's not just single shots. Not at all. Two, three, four punches followed with lower body work. And that's what Jenny Huang's doing. She's doing these one punch shots. One big hook, one big uppercut, one big right hand. She's got to try to put these together and slow down Angela and start to disrupt her rhythm and put her off her game. Because Angela is able to pick her shots, basically having target practice right now, especially when she gets up against the cage and Angela Lee continues to move forward here and you can already visibly start to see some wear on Jenny's legs from those kicks Mitch yeah there she's definitely doing a lot of damage to the legs but also to the face she's you know, she might not have the, the power in her punches for a one-shot quit, but the volume is going to build up over time, and she could just wear down Huang, especially tying her out, which might make that chin a little bit more susceptible to a big shot. And one thing to consider here for the first time, as Lee thought about playing the throw to the ground, is that she's taken really a path where she's had to where she's been able to avoid the risk of the submission skills of Juan. Yeah, Chris, you gotta wonder, is Angela Lee's mind starting to change? So she's hit her with everything she has, all these combinations, big right hands, all her weapons from the stand-up. Maybe she wants to take this fight to the ground and finish her up a little bit and change her strategy. And a huge right hand lands from both as they trade shots and the end of the round in the books. What an incredible performance for both individuals. Mitch, take us through it. There's a big push kick by Angela Lee. There's that clinch work. But look at Jenny. She's able to just kind of block the shots, not really in any danger, not really showing any damage to the face. But I don't know if you caught that, Chris, but Jenny Huang looked over at Angela Lee and shook her finger to signal, no, 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 I am not done yet. Angela just has to be careful to not get careless because that's the way that Jenny could end up catching her. At this point in time, she's obviously running away with the fight, so Jenny's gonna have to do something, something way different in her game plan in order to make a difference here. Well, we continue the proceedings here. Round three, five minutes on the clock. Jenny Huang, no doubt, landing several convincing counter strikes there at the end of the second stanza, but the evidence of all of Lee's work, Mitch, over time in 2016, showed off with the kickboxing. Yeah, you gotta wonder when Angela's gonna change this up and try to get this fight to the ground, because, but at this point, like Rich said, it's basically target practice. She is just picking her shots and really just using Jenny Huang as a punching bag, but there's no quit in Jenny Huang. She's continually moving forward, and she's answering right back. Look at her throw! And more shots continue to come in as Angela Lee hits a beautiful short elbow there. Nice pressure up against the cage, but Jenny's doing the right thing. There we see the Lee family, Ken Lee and Christian Lee, egging on Angela Lee, trying to get her to push a little bit harder. One big flurry, one big shot, and this fight could be over. But there's another nice little short elbow. And more combinations from close range as Angela turns up things here and continues to try and force Jenny Huang backwards. Huang, though, patient, trying to pull the counter, trying to time something, looking for that Hail Mary. 
you know, we can see Jenny's been, you know, absorbing a lot of shots, especially to her face, but there's not really any significant damage shown on her face. So she's either got, like, just skin made of absolute leather, or, you know, maybe she's evading these punches and really slipping a little bit more than we're realizing. Yeah, you can see the way she turns her face to avoid at least the majority of that power. And more importantly, I think what Angela wants to avoid here is punching herself out, bitch. She's got to be clinical. Yeah, you got to wonder, does she have the gas to do this for five rounds? But we've seen Angela go five rounds, five hard rounds, in one of the most entertaining fights we've had in one championship. So I believe she's got the gas tank to continually do this. But she's got to be careful. Now she chooses to take this fight to the ground. Beautiful head snap takedown there. Excellent control there from the front headlock position. And Lee, now with two and a half minutes on the clock, certainly has a number of options from this position. But Jenny Huang is very skilled on the ground as well. That judo black belt, she recently got her purple belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. So I don't see her making any mistakes, but Angela is just so unorthodox on the ground. It's hard to pinpoint exactly what she's going to be doing because she consistently transitions to so many unique things. It's certainly beautiful attacking jiu-jitsu for MMA at its finest, and a lot of good positional control here on display from Lee to try to open up the back take, but Juan blocking right now and just one hook in there, Mitch. Yeah, but look at the way she's controlling that arm. The things that she's doing to that right side arm, the way she's trapped the left arm, interlaced the legs, and she, now she's just able to tee off. Very impressive ground control from Angela Lee. Look at that left arm just pinned behind her back, and she's free to just unload with the right side. As Lee utilizes that wrist ride, the way she's holding onto it with her left arm, Juan, Bearing the weight and unable to escape this position. Referee with her very that's close it, in there. It. Whoa! It's a win for Angela Lee. And still champion of the world. That was an impressive finish. The control on the ground was a thing of beauty. She interlaced the hand, pinned it to the side of Jenny Huang's body and just got the TKO stoppage. There's that check, beautifully blocked leg kick right there from Angela Lee, and just chose to unload with the hands. Beautiful win from your champion, Angela Lee. And there, that head snap, that was key. Spun, took the back, and never compromised position. This is where it all really was missed, the beginning of the end. Yeah, she was able to lock that hand in, pin it to her body. Jenny Huang couldn't defend, and there's the tap to strikes. Beautiful win from Angela Lee. And she stays inside the ring. The champion, Angela Lee, celebrating there with her family. We'll have the decision here momentarily, but what an incredible capstone here tonight in one championship. Rich Franklin. I'll tell you, at the end of that fight, it, it looked like Angela was actually gonna set up for the twister again. Well, the decision is in. We'll hear it all from Dominic Lau. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee Olivier Costas put a stop to this fight after three minutes and 37 seconds in the third round. For your winner, by way of referee stoppage due to strikes, and still one women's atomweight world champion, unstoppable Angela Lee! And it's a win for Angela Lee here tonight at one championship, Warrior Kingdom, and what a beautiful win it was as she remains the undisputed Adam Waite female champion of the world.